so here we are with chapter 10 from our english textbook first flight and the title of the chapter is the sermon at banaras the source from where this uh, extract of gotam buddha's life has been taken is uh, from batty rancho and her collection values and voices which is college reader 1975 collection now let's read about who batty rancho is she was born in shannon mississippi on september 3 1927 to pc and lillian rancho her after graduating valedictorian from shannon high school she went on to obtain her bachelor of arts degree from mississippi college and later a master of arts from mississippi university for women now when we read the title the sermon at banaras not sure that all of us will be knowing the meaning of the word the sermon so before we read the chapter in itself let us come to know about what the word sermon means what is a sermon is it different from a lecture or a talk can this word also be used in a negative way or as a joke as in my mother's sermon about getting my work done on time so what do you think what a sermon is or what is the meaning of the sermon let me help you out a sermon means an advice or a discourse on a religious or moral subject the title of this particular extract the sermon at banaras is an apt one because uh, here the enlightened soul buddha gautam buddha he um, tells us about the theme of inevitability of death through the story of kisa gotami uh, we come to know though it is a fact but most of us keep on running away from it and uh, gautam buddha he uh, tells us that the principle of coming to this world and finally disappearing it applies to every every living being the light that brightens must be consumed by darkness so in totality everything in this world is a subject to decay and an end so this is the meaning of the sermon which means an advice or a discourse on a religious or moral subject this uh, essay summon at banaras uh, it is here given to us in two distinct parts the first part is uh, somewhat biographical in nature which lays bare the first phase of prince siddharth's life the life that was lived in luxury and uh, this part also includes his encounter with the sufferings of human life and in the second part we'll read about the enlightened state of gautam buddha where he teaches kisa gautami and the world at large how to overcome grief and suffering the, actually that second part is the sermon at banaras so this is the short summary buddha's early life gautam buddha was uh, who lived between 563 bc to 483 bc now you must be amused after reading this that how come this is going from uh, bigger word larger larger numerical than, than to lower one otherwise we go from like 2001 to 2002 we we, we uh, had forward in the chronological order like this but this bc refers to before the birth of christ because uh, the georgian calendar that we are following it uh, follows before the birth of christ and after the birth of christ so it is accordingly uh, due to that fact gautam buddha was born as a prince in a royal family um, to a king and a queen he was named siddhartha at the age of 10 he was sent away for schooling he studied hindu sacred scriptures he was married to a princess whose name was uh, yashodara at the age of 16 then he had a son uh, 10 years of his married life was spent in royal luxuries but at the age of 25 he chanced upon a sick man and then an aged man and then a funeral procession finally he saw a monk begging for alms these sights moved him 
he gave up the luxuries of royal life and he set out in search of enlightenment after wandering for 7 years finally he meditated under a fig tree enlightened after 7 days he renamed the tree as the bodhi tree it was the tree of wisdom bodhi means bodhi means uh, knowledge wisdom he became known as the buddha the awakened or the enlightened one the buddha preached his first sermon at banaras the holy city on the banks of ganga you know what is um, another fact about gautam buddha's life is that when he was born the royal uh, astro- astrologer he said that your son he said to um, gautam buddha's parents that your son would be renouncing the world one day he is born to do something big and he would not be living with you all once he comes across the sufferings and miseries of life he would not be living with the uh, you people in the palace enjoying all the luxuries of life he would be renouncing the world so what his parents had done they had created a such kind of atmosphere in the palace that gautam buddha knew no unhappiness he knew no miseries he know he knew nothing about uh, the sufferings or the sadness or the death or any any such thing and all the people those who worked in the palace they were strictly forbidden to talk about any death or illness or any such thing but what is destiny is destiny what is written in destiny definitely comes true so once he came across all those four sides that was the beginning for him to realize that he was supposed to renounce the world and find the enlightenment now gautam buddha this is again the same thing that i already have read for you uh, he read the holy scriptures uh, like rigved samved atharva ved or yajurved these are the four vedas again the same things have been told here that gautam buddha began life as a prince named siddhat gautam at the age of 12 he started his schooling in sacred hindu scriptures and 4 years later he was married to yashodhra a princess these were the times when people were married off at a very tender age at the age of 25 while out hunting he came across a sick man then t h e n then read it like that an aged man and finally a monk begging for arms so uh, when he um, at about the age of 25 the prince here to four shielded from the sufferings of world as i told you that his parents had created such an atmosphere while out hunting he chanced upon seeing all these people and these sights so moved him that he at once went out into the world to seek enlightenment concerning the sorrows he had witnessed so when he came across an old man and a funeral procession and uh, a monk begging for alms he was moved because this was the first time ever in his life when he had seen that people become old also they can fall sick also people die and they are um, according to their religion either they are burnt on a pyre or they are buried in the ground and a monk people have to you know ask for arms to continue their livelihood so he was moved by these sights and these sights they so moved him that he went out into the world renouncing his uh, renouncing this world living behind his wife and his uh, son whose name was rahul one night when this urge to go and seek enlightenment it was bothering him he left all the luxuries and went out this tree can have a look he wandered for 7 years and finally sat down under a peepal tree where he vowed to stay until enlightenment came enlightened after 7 days some say it was a fig tree some say it is a peepal tree but this tree still is found in uh, gaya bodh gaya which is in bihar he renamed renamed the tree as bodhi tree the tree of wisdom and began to teach and to share his new understandings at that point he became known as the buddha an awakened or enlightened one the buddha preached his first sermon at the city of banaras most holy of the dipping places on the river ganga that sermon has been preserved and is given here it reflects buddha's wisdom about one inscrutable kind of suffering that is death 
so this is these are some illustrations when buddha started sitting under the tree buddha finally reaching to the state of enlightenment and these are just suggestive pictures that this is how he might have got that wisdom that enlightenment which he then further spread into the world and helped us all so these are all the same things which have been told to you these pictures have been collected from various sources from net so as to uh, keep you informed about those things this is bodhi vraksh at bodhi gaya bodhi gaya where siddhartha gautam got enlightenment people till date go there they offer their prayers and whatever they believe in and uh, the tree still keeps on living after so many years this is the nirvana stupa at kushinagar where it is believed that gautam bud he uh, finally took his last breath and this place was then for the converted into this nirvana stupa gautam bud has given so many um, beautiful good things to us and his eight commandments that we should remember always right view right intentions right speech right action right effort right concentration and right mindfulness so at least we should try to follow the footsteps given by gautam bud if we seek enlightenment if we seek peace in our life which is very much important and all the points given by this great soul they need to be incorporated by all of us at least in a little measure so that our life can become better in the next part uh, i'll be telling you about what was the sermon delivered by gautam buddha to kisa gautami here we come to an end of the first part thank you keep reading